Evening. And welcome to our community corner. Joining us this Friday morning, we have two guests with us. We're talking about the Land of Lincoln Border Collie Club hosting its 30th nationally ranked Border Collie Sheep Herding Competition. It's happening at Three Sisters Park in Chillicothe today and throughout the weekend. And here to tell us all about it, we have Dr. Emily Chopik. And you brought a little friend with you. Yes. So we have her on camera right now. This is Hope, right? Yes, this is Hope. Aww. And Hope may not look like the Border Collie you're used to seeing, a <laughs> uh, very f more fluffy right. dog. But they come in two varieties. Oh, uh, and this okay. is a slick Border Collie. Gotcha. Yeah, there's a rough Border Collie. Okay. I did not know that. Full-blooded um, Border Collie. Oh, wow. Okay. Will she, will she be competing in the competition? Yes, she will be. Wow, okay. Well, good. Best of luck to you, Hope. <laughs> <laughs> She's fine. It's her handler, named me, namely Emily, that isn't so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're both fantastic. <laughs> no, not compared to the people that are out there. We have some of the top teams in the country who will be later competing in the world competition. Wow. So it's uh, a big event. Wow. So about how many dogs will be competing in the competition? In the open class, which is the highest class, we're up to about 100. And for the actually second year, but it's really the first year, we're doing the lower dogs, the ones that are just learning. Okay. And there are probably about 60 in three or four classes. Wow. So you can come and see these dogs as they develop. Right. Then you can see them go out, and they have to go out 325 yards and wow. pick up their sheep and bring them to their handler and the course is designed to mimic what these dogs do on a farm because they are working dogs and right. they have to have a job right they're pretty <laughs> they're very intelligent very often people say i want one think again they have to have a job mm, so they got to stay busy <laughs> they have to stay busy or they'll find a job and you may not like it right <laughs> those are some good good pieces of advice for anyone who wants a border collie uh, and so in the competition what exactly are the skills and the the the, the things that the judges are looking for well the first main thing a border collie is bred to do is to go out long distances and gather sheep it's mm -hmm. not like in australia where you have i don't know a thousand sheep going in the outback mm -hmm. um they are to gather sheep wherever they are including on a cliff over the ocean etc they are to bring the sheep to the handler and through a panel so that they bring them where they're supposed to go. Mm -hmm. They turn around the handler and then they drive them out to another panel and border collies tend to like to head their sheep. They like to gather their sheep. <laughs> so driving can be a bit of a problem. <laughs> then they go and turn and do what is called the cross drive to another panel. And the problem with the cross drive is on one side you have the sheep that are done working and on the other side you have the sheep that are waiting to work mm -hmm. so the sheep that the dog is working would really like to leave <laughs> um, once they do that they do either a pen and a shed or vice versa the pen they have to get the sheep into the pen mm -hmm. um, the shed is the most difficult and they have to separate how many sheep the judge or the course director says mm -hmm. and drive them away from the other sheep. Wow. And that that's the biggest challenge and it is timed. Mm -hmm. And the judges are theoretically looking at straight lines but they're also looking as to how the dog works. Right. Because the dog has the instinct. Right and there you can't put it all down in black and white right right <laughs> we also use a whistle because at the distances the dog can't hear commands right so we use a whistle or the real people use their fingers but i can't do that <laughs> i can't either <laughs> you're not alone <laughs> um and the dogs know their whistles so 
Nice. Very smart dogs. You're so yes. smart. You're so smart, Hope. <laughs> She's she like, yes, I, I am. Can I be petted? <laughs> of course, you can get some pets. Well, that is just, that's a really cool event. I just learned a whole lot about Border Collies here. So thank you for that. Well, it's, it, you know, they're a wonderful breed. Yeah. But they're not for everybody. And the other word of warning is they're herding dogs. Mm -hmm. That means they're, they'll herd your toddlers. Oh. Now, that could be good <laughs> if they herd them where you want them. I had a nurse who right. they kept the, her twins in the yard. But if the, ch the child decides it wants to go somewhere else, the dog may nip them. Oh, okay. They're not, they are 99.9% .9 are not aggressive. They're not a dog that goes out to bite. Mm -hmm. But they will nip if gotcha. they think the child isn't behaving and then the parent gets upset and then they end up in rescue and we'd prefer they have a nice loving home. Right, absolutely. With work. Yes, Does they got to work. Be sheep, <laughs> but they have to do something. Yes. The other thing I'd just like to mention is that um, the Border Collie is known for its intelligence and agility. The original group never had and still does not have a structure requirement. They are not shown in breed mm -hmm. in the United States Border Collar Handler Association. They are in the AKC. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. Well, thank you so much for both of you for coming in today. Well, thank you for having us. Yeah. And I hope so you will come out and watch Absolutely. all these. And they're all, we are having a a uh, petting zoo with bottle lamps. Oh, very nice. So, Lots to look forward to. <laughs> well, best of luck in the competition to both of you. And thanks for coming Thank in, you. Hope. It's good seeing you. <laughs> and stick with us. We'll be right back.